I'm Daniel Lezzi, Senior Researcher at Barcelona Supercomputing Center. In this presentation, I'll cover the details of using PyComs and the SLEED on the AI Sprint uh, platform. Um, as we said in the introductory video, uh, here we are in the first stage of the development of the AI Sprint uh, application design workflow that consists in the application definition, uh, which application developers and architects provide implementation code uh, using the um, COMPS parallel programming model and uh, also prepare the configuration file for the following steps of the uh, Sprint application lifetime that includes steps for the execution of the design and performance uh, tools uh, that will help to provide optimal application develop deployment and components placement on the uh, virtual uh, infrastructure. Uh, so, um, uh, PyComs and Sleep are uh, tools that we use in, uh, in the Sprint platform. Uh, so, um, the problem that we solve all around the uh, uh, the problem of uh, uh, developing uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms um, uh, for the uh, scientists. Uh, this application development process usually includes uh, platform awareness, meaning that the user needs to know where the uh, code uh, will be executed, thus introducing details on the uh, platform in his code. Uh, so uh, the mm, also, the end user usually, when dealing with artificial intelligence application, have to to deal with the big data sets that have to be distributed on uh, on the available uh, resources. So, with the uh, Sprint, we uh, tackle the, those issues. Uh, so, with the PyCom and Sleep, we offer high le level interfaces to the deployment, uh, development, and deployment of the machine learning algorithms. Uh, we leave the user concentrating on the application development and then let the runtime uh, take care of the resources uh, management. Uh, with PyComs, uh, more specifically, uh, we have the automatic parallelization of, uh, of the code and uh, the same application can run on different backends uh, without any uh, change in the code. And this lib also, uh, which is a machine learning library, parallel library, allows to partition the data, and thus optimizing the execution of the data sets on the, on the resources. Uh, so uh, PyComs is a programming framework developed by DSC, uh, where the uh, application developer provides uh, sequential Python scripts, uh, whose functions are annotated through uh, decorators, and those annotations are then used by the runtime to run those parts of code as asynchronous parallel task code. The annotation describes the type of parameters and constraints uh, on, the, on the resources, and for example, here we see the computing units. And uh, also with PyComs, we have a set of APIs to control the, the flow of the uh, application execution, also um, benefiting of fault tolerance and the synchronization mechanisms. Um, PyComs uh, processes this information provided by the user uh, in the Python decorators and generates a dependency graph uh, that represents the execution flow of the user code on the available resources. It is important to highlight that the same code, as we said before, can run on different backends, being a HPC cluster, clouds, um, containerized environments, etc. This leap uh, is a distributed machine learning library that is built on top of PyComs, thus benefiting of the parallelization uh, mechanism of, uh, of Coms runtime, and then enables large-scale data analytics on HPC uh, infrastructure, but in general on the computing continuum. Uh, this lib is inspired by uh, Scikit Learn and uh, provides uh, the same estimator-based interface that improves uh, productivity by making uh, algorithms to uh, use and uh, interchangeable. Um, so this interface uh, makes the programming with this lib uh, easy for the developers, for the scientists uh, who are already familiar uh, with scikit-learn. So as it, we can see here in the code, is the same structure of a scikit-learn application, but in the in the back end, everything is uh, parallelized by the comps runtime. So it's easy to uh, change the type of uh, 
uh, algorithm that the user want to implement for classification or clustering uh, etc the um, the this leap uh, allows this parallelization on the data through a distributed data structure that can be operated as a regular python object in the user code and the combination of this data structure on the estimate of base interface is what makes uh, this lib distributed version of scikit learn where all the communication data uh, transfer parallelism are automatically handled by uh, behind the scene by the uh, comms uh, runtime in this demo we show how we integrated pycoms in the ai sprint uh, design studio in particular we show the use of the inference part of the a sprint <coughs> ltk application so uh, first we create the a application and uh, we add uh, the user code in our case it's a this uh, uh, code for the detection of atrial fibrillation so we have a classifier that we implemented in ni sprint uh, we copy the the code uh, in the source uh, director this application contains uh, one one component uh, which is the, the inference and one candidate uh, physical resource. So the first step is the creation of the application and then we add the source code and we edit the configuration uh, files. We have a single candidate physical resources resource. So here we are adding the user code that includes the model that has been trained, this PCA model file, which is the trained model. Uh, we include the, uh, the task, as we can see here, we have the comps uh, tasks, and this is a random, foster, uh, random forest classifier in particular. And then we have a main uh, code in Python that is what is executed by the Oscar um, runtime uh, when a new file is uploaded in the mini UI uh, storage this will be part of uh, another demo of another video in this case we prepare the, the code we include the AI sprint annotations these annotations are used to specify the component name in this case we have one component uh, that we set to have a local time threshold of 20 uh, set. We also specify the requirements to be installed on the uh, image container, container image. So here we run the uh, AI Sprint Design uh, tool that generates the annotations. So the application design and base deployments are now uh, ready. The following step is to uh, run the uh, Toscarizer tool. This Toscarizer tool prepares a Docker image that is pu uh, published in the Docker.io hub. So you can see here that our image is uh, uploaded on the Docker hub. And the final step is the uh, generation of the Tosca the deployments using again the Tosca Riser tool. And here we can see that we have the uh, deployment file for IM, Infrastructure Manager. And the very last step is the generation of the FTL file that is the deployment uh, file that will be then used by Oscar client to instantiate the Oscar uh, instance. And as I said, this is part of uh, another demo video. So uh, mm, this was how we uh, was an example of how we uh, prepare an application to be executed on the AS Sprint uh, platform to uh, design tools. Um, so as uh, we conducted several tests, the experimental setup in AS Sprint, 
and uh, we focus our test on different strategies um, taking into account accuracy but also the scalability of the code so we focused on different dimensions uh, that include the training time uh, the so the total execution time of, uh, of the uh, training algorithm on the model performance so on the how the model um, performs in terms of uh, accuracy for example and on the resources uh, utilization uh, these three uh, dimensions are not necessarily um, uh, predominant because one user can be interested more on the pure performance uh, other user is could be more interested on the um, on the training time and also on the resource utilization given the limited capabilities of, uh, of an infrastructure. So we um, demonstrated that in a way the COMPS runtime efficiently uses the computing uh, resources in, on the continuum. And during the project, we also starting to investigate the integration of PyComs uh, with uh, uh, not, let's say, classic machine learning algorithms, including a neural, a neural network. As you can see here, some tests on uh, using uh, the uh, parallel on, uh, CNN uh, networks. So uh, this is a list of our reference in terms of uh, papers that can be consulted for more details. Uh, we provide a lot of uh, training material on our website, and we have also a public GitHub repository, both for comps and, uh, and this group. So thank you very much for your attention. Mm -hmm.